Quirky news. Robber cheek. A robber is trying to sue his victim after he was beaten up by them. Brad Ruck, 48, walked into a store with a semi-automatic pistol. Seconds later, a clerk grabs the gun, and Ruck ran out. Two employees chased him and hit him repeatedly with a metal pipe. Ruck is suing the store and the men for emotional distress. Newsstand theft. A frustrated newsstand operator stole six newsstands from Philadelphia city streets. My Lord used a rented crane to lift the newsstands and place them in other sites around the city. Lord, 46, had filed 42 applications for newsstand licenses, but they were all rejected. So, in protest, Lord positioned the newsstands on corners where he had hoped to operate. Lord was later charged with theft. In the red. A financial analyst got a nasty shock when he stopped to buy some groceries with a new debit card. The card was declined. Minutes later, he called the bank to see what was wrong and was informed that his account was overdrawn by $7.71 million. Surely, Sir has forgotten to record some of his transactions, one of the bank clerks said. Later, it turned out that the bank had overcharged him for his debit card. We are very apologetic, said a bank spokesman. The key thing for us is to talk to our customer and see what's going to make it right for him. From the jaws of death. A Sunday morning walk turned a neighbour into a hero. Barry Moore was walking his nine-month-old bulldog when the dog ran ahead, going to the edge of a pond in South Florida. Suddenly, Moore heard the dog cry. When he went to check, he saw that his dog's head was inside an alligator's mouth. Without a second thought, Moore jumped in the water and started hitting the gator with his fists. The reptile refused to let go and started rolling in the water, with the dog still in its mouth. It was about three metres long and I thought my dog was dead, Moore later said. But at that point, I wasn't going to let him have my dog. Moore eventually prized open the gator's mouth and pulled out his dog. He rushed it to hospital where it was treated for cuts and puncture wounds. The dog is in good condition. (laughs) 